what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher here with another one this one is couples court y'all i am so happy that you are watching this with me it's more fun when more people watch it together you know what i'm saying you can get my point of view about this and i can get yours in the comments it's a beautiful relationship all that being said i'm not gonna hold you let's go in you all have been together for four years. Uh, you once lived together, but now you are staying in separate residences. Uh, Ms. Tunnell, why have you brought your boyfriend to court today? Y'all, I buy him to court because I feel like he's been cheating on me the last four years. And if he has been cheating, he got to go. Bumbar, Sayonara, he got to go. He's got it's to go. It's over. All the way over. So you are not playing. I'm not You're playing done. with him. I'm dead serious. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor, I understand. And you are here to prove... That I'm not cheating on Mrs. Tanell and that she can calm down with all the jealousy and all that so we can move forward <laughs> to a better future. So you say oh. you haven't cheated? No, no, not recently. Not, not recently. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. You know, the past is the past, but right, right now right. you're here to tell her, to prove to her right. that you have not cheated. That's correct. All right. What was it like when you were living together and in the beginning? When we first met, it was like love at first sight. Aww. And he's very, a very sweet person. What's and sweet then, about him? He's romantic. He buy me just because gifts. We go on just because I'm trip. About he's a good him. provider. He's constantly... <laughs> he's just I like a good him person. just because. He is, he is. <laughs> I have nothing bad to say on that part right there. I just want to know if he's cheating or not. Right. You love him. I love Joseph to death. Okay. All right, so you but believe he that he's cheating. He go. What kinds of things are you doing to try to catch him cheating? Well, I did his laundry, and I was shaking his pockets trying to get the money out, because whatever I find, I keep. <laughs> <laughs> that was the rule in my house. I tell my sons, if you leave it, it's mama. So I understand that. But I found something that I didn't want to keep was some boy shorts that I know for sure was not mine. And I have an exhibit, Your Honor, that I can show and prove to you that they weren't mine. All right, why don't you step to the plaza? Okay. Let's see. Let we, see. we finna see. I want to see. <laughs> this is mine. My <laughs> size. A 10. <laughs> this is the size that I found, a 4. Oh. I haven't wore a size 4 since I was 19 or 20 years old. Okay, so let me make sure I understand this. Yeah. You are cleaning out his pants to, to wash them. Looking for money. Look yes, ma'am. <laughs> And you found more than you bargained for, right? I did. But, but they, they still not what, mine. what did you do when you found those panties? I folded them up on top of his clothes, and when he got home, I was like, Joseph, who draws are these? Because I know they're not mine. <laughs> and Mr. Laws, what did you say? We said, these ain't my draws. They must be your sisters, because ain't nobody else been in. That's what he hit me with. They must be my sisters, because he know I got a lot of sisters. So he had to use them to cover his track. During Christmas... What had happened Her was... younger siblings <laughs> came and stayed with us for the holidays. And you don't believe they're your sisters either? Uh, my sisters don't wear boy shorts. They're, they're, they're little girls. They don't wear boy shorts. Okay. All right. Okay. Please step come back to your Thank you. Do you Mr. wear Mr. boy Law, shorts? Mr. Law, I gotta say, your uh, explanation is <clears throat> weak. It's weak. The truth has set me free. All right. <laughs> Please tell me this is all you have. No, ma'am, I have more. Okay. What does that look like? So one time I was stealing money at the stash, but what? I found some condoms. So again, you didn't found more than you bargained for. Yes, ma'am. Let me just say this. First of all, <laughs> I am so <laughs> I'm tripping so much off of this. What I find I keep and I stole money out the stash. Jesus Christ, don't have no money around this woman. I mean, I it just I don't like, I, that's just my own personal thing. I don't really like that. Like, why you gotta steal from me? If it's in my pocket, it's mine. I understand you do laundry, but um, that don't mean you get to keep it. That's that's a rule that you created so you can, so you can find a way to take my money or something like that. It's, it's, it's just lack of integrity, stealing from the stash. 
just it's it's all it's pretty whack to me like come on girl I, I i know women love money and i you know all this other stuff but can we have a little integrity please can we have just a tad of integrity instead of stealing money from our pockets and from the stash like why, why you gotta go through all of that um i you know <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see because the, the camera is kind of uh, small, but look at this chick right here. Look, <laughs> look at this chick right here. She thinking the same thing I'm thinking like, girl, you stealing from the stash? You stealing from his pockets? <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Anyway, let's go back in. You went up to the... You went to the backup stash and found condoms. And I knew they was condoms. I could smell a condom a mile away. I knew they was condoms. <laughs> okay, yeah. how you get how that you... talent that right. you can smell a condom a mile away? We don't use them, so at the time we were together, so I knew that he had been cheating. I found the rubbers. He lied and said it was his best friend condoms. And of course, the best friend lied with him. I said, oh, so, yeah, yeah, they mine. They, yeah. So when you talked to him about that, what did you say, Mr. Laws? Why were you in there? Okay, but you let your best friend keep his condoms where you keep your extra cash? Well, no, it wasn't the same spot, but I, that's where I put it so I know where they were so I could give it back to them. Okay. if I lost them and I was like, I don't know where they came from, this would have been bigger than... All right, me. so you're saying your best friend left his condoms at your house, you saw him, knew that if she found it, it was gonna be a big to-do. Right. And so you put them up so she wouldn't find them. Right. And she and found them. found them anyway, yeah. Uh, and it's a big to-do. <laughs> Same thing. That sound lame as hell. Okay. Why would your buddy leave your condoms over your house? Why would you let your buddy leave your condoms over your house? Your girl is gonna snap just as much as his girl gonna snap. So why would you like, dog? Don't leave that. Don't leave it out of my house. We don't use them. I know my girl gonna trip. Why would you even risk it, if anything? Cause your girl is probably worse than his. So, uh, it's a lame, it's a lame excuse. Let's go in. That's not all I found, Your Honor. I done found, we was laying in the bed one day talking and I went in the drawer to find something because I did stay with him. And went inside the drawer and it was this little bottle, cheap perfume that I knew wasn't mine because I don't wear it. It breaks me out. Listen up, you do a lot of snooping. Yeah, don't she though. I'm <laughs> telling you. Don't she. Uh, you, but wait, no, you. <laughs> You, you do a lot of snooping. Well, my friend no. called me Go Go Gadget. Whatever you want to find out, I can find out for you. But let, but you know what, Mr. Cullen? In each of these instances, she wasn't snooping. None of these were truly snooping. These were like, oh my goodness, I'm falling over clues. The ends don't justify the means, though. Yeah, they do. No, they, they do. don't. Uh -uh. We're going to have to agree to disagree. OK. And then I have other things that happened. Like, one time I went to his job to see my baby because I had missed him, just wanted to see him in the area. It was a girl up there. Was she a co-worker? No, nah, she wasn't no co-worker. <laughs> so how do you know she was there to see Mr. Laws? Well, they was all in each other's face, smiling, and you know. And when I got out the car, she, I asked her who she was, and she was like, I'm his woman. I'm like, no, that can't be possible. Oh. Because well, I'm his woman. Tell me about that, Mr. Laws. How you explain that? She got to be crazy. Because <laughs> uh, I work on air conditions. So yeah, I was talking to a lady. And I was explaining to her about her system and everything, how it I worked bet. on her in the phone. When you talking to somebody about an air conditioner, you don't do all this and do this and smile and all that. She well, if was she was close. flirting, that well, if you're trying to get a to discount, flirt. you might do that. Well, she don't need right. no discount. She was going yeah. to go to the hospital. Tell me is why some random person whose air conditioner you're working on mm -hmm. would say anything remotely close to We've been together for three years. He's not mad. Yeah, see, me too. I wouldn't, so, I don't understand he, that either. He's got questions too, cuz. I don't understand that either. <laughs> what, okay, so what was your you relationship hear... with this woman with the air conditioner? Oh, she was just a customer. Just mm. a customer? Just a customer, that's all. <laughs> all right, so. I gotta say, um, I like her chocolatiness. She, she's, a, she's a cute chick. I just had to say that. Um, she a little thick. Um, a lot of men like them like that. Cute smile. Um, <clears throat> so his girl is, uh, 
you know she you know she, she she's cute she's cute you don't think so chick you don't think so you ain't buying it you don't think she's that cute <laughs> what is that look for this 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 chick is probably one of the most animated uh audience uh guests <laughs> i've ever seen uh every time i stop it she got some kind of expression on her face anyway let's go in so mr now after all of these accusations why did you stay with him because i love joseph Aww. we had two babies together that passed away and he, we took it, that's when our relationship kind of took a turn, a big turn. And so it affected both of us and our family members as well. And then we tried again, and we lost another daughter last year. Wow. But so you all, you, all got... have, you all have had some emotional roller coasters. Right. We have. And you're fighting to make this work because you all have been through some stuff together. Yes, Sean. But you love him. I love Joseph to death. So, Mr. Laws, what has this done to you? You've heard what she's going through emotionally. Pretty close to the same thing. After the, after the baby, I tried what I could do to keep her, you know, motivated and on her feet so she wouldn't get too depressed. But af after she got on her feet, it's like she got with her friends and forgot all about me. So, I love her, but she's crazy. Like, she, all right. she's real wild. She done cut tires, through eggs, it's like, it's, it gets, she, she, it gets, she cut it, tires. Say, I say that, yes, sir. What do you mean, cut tires? Oh, I, I'm a work van. She slashed one of my tires. I had to pay for that. That was two thirty. So you, you slashed the tires on his work van? Yes, Sean. Okay. Why did you do that? I That's a now that would be what the honorable Judge Lynn Toller would say is a stupid tax. Why in the world would you slash the tire of your man's work van? That makes zero sense. And then, <laughs> why would you even tell the employer that your girl did that, man? You should have said a random did that so you didn't have to pay for it. Okay, they would have been like, what? Somebody, uh, you could have said a bad customer slashed a tire or something. You, you shouldn't have told them your girl did it. Oh, uh, if your girl did it, you gotta pay for it. But if, uh, if a customer did it, eh, okay. We'll chalk it up, we'll write it off on the taxes. You know, but, um, it's, uh, you know, they both had what I would ca call a, um, a slow moment, a, a, a dummy moment. Um, slashing the tire and telling your employer that your girl slashed your tire. Stupidity all over the place. I, I, I'm, I'm just being real, but I, you know, I ain't trying to insult nobody, but it, it, that's just what I see. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Anyway, let's go in. Those who mad. <laughs> If I had a bet, I would have knocked all the windows out. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. So were you cutting the tires and throwing eggs because of other women? I think we got... I, it was an inbox or something that made us get into it. I read everything. I detail everything. You all have been together. You Ladies, let me say this. <sighs> it always kills me when women are very... Uh, it, it is that way, very passionate okay about things where they want to get baseball bats and bust windows and get knives and slash tires save you all that passion for the bedroom okay put all that passion in the bedroom i don't want to see no passion nowhere else other I, you could be a church mouse uh you could be quiet as a mouse and docile and all that outside of the bedroom but in the bedroom give me all that passion there don't give me all the passion outside the bedroom and then when we get in the bedroom you ain't got nothing left that's <sighs> Woo! help me help me help me <laughs> i don't know i feel like i'm on one today i don't know this 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 case is kind of tripping me out anyway let's go in clearly love each other. You clearly want to be together. 
but you've got this issue you've got to work through. To get to the bottom of this, we have done a full social media analysis of Mr. Laws, and we have the result. Okay. Uh, the court would like to call cybersecurity expert Mr. Gregory Evans. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Gregory. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Yes. Mr. Evans. Good morning, Your Honor. How are you today? <laughs> Doing great. Good. Good to see you. Okay, you did a full forensic examination of his tablet. Yes, I did. And what kinds of things do you look for when you're doing a full forensic examination? We go through pictures, social media, and then we pull up everything that's been deleted as well. Mr. Evans, uh, Ms. Tunnell was concerned about Mr. Law's Facebook inbox. Did you find anything incriminating? We did a full investigation of the defendant's social media accounts, and I found that he's been a very, very busy man, Your Honor. I found several conversations between the defendant and other women who's not his girlfriend, Ms. Tennille. Okay, so can you share your findings with the court? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Law starts off with, you're gonna have to take some pics of me so I can post some new. The young lady replies, I ain't got time to fight nobody's girlfriend. She knows, she done heard. Mr. Law replies, I'm single. Oh. And how long ago? That was six weeks ago, Your Honor. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Laws, did you tell this woman that you were single? Yes, sir. At this time, we were, at that time, we were separated, so that is single to me. So separated is single to you? Yes, sir. Mr. Now, did you think, think you, you were single? single? No, Your Honor, I didn't. Is that the only woman he's been communicating with? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop there, Your Honor. There was another young lady he was communicating with five weeks ago. And this is different from this first lady? This is different from the first lady. Okay. Okay. Mr. Law starts off with, cute self, when you gonna take me serious? Young lady replies, don't you have a GF girlfriend? See, everybody Mr. know. Mr. Laws replies, I did, but it's not a relationship anymore. <laughs> and again, Mr. Laws, you thought you were single at that point. I did. <laughs> we were not separated, Your Honor. We are Our... not separated. Please tell me that's all you found. Come on with it. <laughs> Come on with it. No, it's not, Your Honor. I found a, a conversation which was two hours long between the defendant and another young lady that started at 11.23 p.m. This wow. is the conversation. You know I've been wanting some of you. And that was Mr. Law there. It continues, yeah, that's all you want, the young lady says. Mr. Law replies, that's the best way. The young lady, what the? What that's supposed <laughs> to mean? Question mark, question mark behind that one. She's slow. And Mr. Law says, feelings complicate things. <laughs> Mr. Right. Law, what you got to say about things. that? Well, I wasn't trying to move on to nobody else. Right, because feelings complicate things. Right, right, I was single, so I ain't want to jump right into another relationship. So. But you just wanted to hit it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we know them so, with his corners if he just wanted to hit it. Right. All right, so did you hit it? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. You sure? Positive. You're saying that's as far as it went? That's as far as it went. <laughs> Conversation. Keep breathing, please. Pretty please. <laughs> All right, well, the good news is the court has ordered a polygraph examination mm. for Mr. Laws, and we have the results. Ron, would you please escort former special agent of the FBI and licensed polygraph examiner, Kendall Schull, into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Mr. Schull. It ain't looking good. <laughs> It ain't looking good, bruh, at all. And dare I say, some of these baseball bats and slash tires are starting to make sense. It never really makes sense, but, uh, you know, you can't be creeping like this. I mean, you got a couple chicks on the phone, and <clears throat> he said they were single. I could see them breaking up, and... And that's one thing, ladies. When you break up with a guy, you should probably automatically feel like he he smashed somebody else. Okay? It's almost giving him permission to smash somebody else. So if you if you if if you want him to do that, <clears throat> 
break up with them. But if you don't want to do that, don't be breaking up and fine, we done, get out of here. I don't ever want to see you again. Even in a heat of anger, a guy would say, oh, oh I'm single. Let me, let me, let me go, um, let me go try to, uh, you know, smash some of these chicks I've been wanting to smash now because we, we broke up now. That's how, that's how men, that's how men kind of move. I mean, some women move like that too. And we broke up. Okay. Well, I can go, I can go do this. I can go do that. But, um, be careful of the breakups because, uh, you probably should almost expect your man to have a higher body count. <laughs> uh, when, if, if you, when you let him go and, and if you plan on getting back with him and if you don't really want that to happen, stop breaking up with him all the time and, and, and pushing him away because when men feel like they pushed away, sometimes they feel like they need to push themselves on another woman i'm just saying anyway let's see what these results say i mean we probably already know what they're gonna say right but let's hear it out mr shell how are you today i'm good thank you all right it's good to see you have a seat you performed a polygraph examination on Mr. Laws, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. All right. Uh, the first question he was asked was, have you had sexual contact with a woman whose underwear Ms. Tennell found in the laundry? What was his response to that question? He answered, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Mr. Nell, does that make you feel better? I want to hear the rest of it. Mr. Mr. Long, he's, he's Mr. smiling. Yeah. Oh, well, I told you. I, I know. All right. I know. Because that's what I've been saying the whole time. You're, you're convinced? Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Shell, did you find out anything else as a result of your examination of Mr. Laws? Yes, I did, Your Honor. And what was that? Mr. Laws admitted to me that he had had sex with another woman Mm. A few months ago, that Miss Tennell doesn't know about. I'm gonna let you. Yes, you sir. were feeling, you know, very smug a couple well, of minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So when I asked you if you had had sex with any of those women, it wasn't one of those. It was somebody else. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Okay. You had sex with some other woman that we haven't even heard about until now. That's right, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Nell, you have the truth. It's, it's a hard truth. The question is, are you going to stay? No, I'm finna cry. Tell him how you're feeling, because I can see it all over you. My feelings hurt. Real bad. I'm sorry, baby. It wasn't, it, it wasn't to hurt you. It wasn't to make you feel no kind of way. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't nothing negative towards you. Why you got a smile, it dude? It Why wasn't you got a smile? It. I apologize for that. Well, what was it? I had to go get some love from somewhere. I mean, it wasn't coming from home. So. Yeah, but when you argue, when you're in a relationship, you're gonna argue. That not, just comes with the territory. Not that doesn't like, mean you go jump in bed with somebody else. I understand it. I understand it. Do you really? I really do, honestly. I understand it. Cutler. But when we were together, it never happened. Let me just say this, Mr. Cutler, and I'm gonna say this to you. My grandmother told me a long time ago, you gotta fight right. We all need to be careful about this thing, because it will say things and get us in trouble. Yeah, and there you have it. Um, say things and get get you in trouble. The guy really, um, you got to fight fair too. Um, they have a bit of a tumultuous relationship where uh, they seem to have a lot of breakups. On, and, uh, you know, look, she's probably dealing with a little bit of uh, post-traumatic uh, well, not post-traumatic, but postpartum. 
you know, from the two kids that they lost. So here, here's the deal. I think that she's probably dealing with some postpartum that she probably haven't been diagnosed with. She's probably lacking in the love department or, you know, because when women look, I know I, I, again, I got a lot of life experience. I know how it is to be with a woman who has lost a baby and it can be traumatic. Okay. Traumatic. And she lost two. You need couch time for that. Okay. You need some therapy for that. And you need to work your emotions out for that. It, it, it ain't a whole, it ain't enough talking in the world that can really heal that, but at least you can really kind of, uh, get a better perspective on things and try to move forward. But what I'm thinking is with the, the loss of those two babies that affected her, she is lacking in the love. He is thirsty for love because he's not getting it at home. And then she while out break out, you know, break, you know, break glass or whatever, or slash tires or whatever. And, and she break up with him and he say, finally, I can go someplace and get some love because they don't, they probably don't even realize what's going on. They probably don't even realize that there's, they have to deal with the loss of those kids and they have to deal with that uh, postpartum. Okay. Um, I would say they should probably stay together. They should probably, they should stay together. I can't believe I'm saying that after hearing what he did, but I understand why he did what he did. It don't, it don't justify it, but I think he loved her, but I think that he is like lacking love from her. And I think that he's lacking love from her because she has postpartum and that has not been addressed. They haven't addressed that. I think they should stick together. I don't know if they got other kids together, but they should stick together and, and get her some help, get her back into showing love, get and that, and that will get him back into showing her love. And I think they can work things out. Um, should they just break up? You can make a quick case. They should just end things anyway. Um, because, uh, they probably don't even know the root cause of why things are going downhill. So if you don't know why it's going downhill, then you should probably break up because the guy is probably going to cheat again because they're probably going to break up again over, a, you know, an argument or something. And it's going to just be a vicious cycle because they're not dealing with the initial issue or the problem. And that is probably postpartum. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know. Y'all put it in the comments. What do y'all think about my theory of the postpartum thing? And um, I'd be interested to see what you say. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. All right. And I really enjoy y'all watching this with me. It's fun. Um, you can see my perspective. I can see y'all's in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.